Now you hear this all the time and you probably ask yourself this same question. When should I record my demo? Can my pet dog record my demo? How do I know when I'm ready to record my demo? Let me just answer all these questions for you right here, right now. You won't know when it's time to record your demo. What? And that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching. That's a pretty generic answer, but unfortunately that's one you're gonna see the most often, which isn't very helpful. Lucky for you though, June, that's also me, is gonna give you at least a better answer that can hopefully help you out. Yeah. This video is meant for those looking to get a demo made for indie projects. This is not a video in regards to professional demos. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. But you can stay if you want to though. <sighs> now for those of you who may be new to the voice acting scene, one thing every voice actor needs is a demo, which is essentially your calling card. Cause if I'm casting for a project and nobody wants to spend all day running through auditions, one way for me to at least see your range is through your demo. Now in case you missed it, one of the more recent videos I dropped on my channel was my animation demo reel. How could you do this to me? I thought we were brothers! Yes, after two years of pursuing this craft, I finally went ahead and made a demo. I know, I know, clap it up for me, I know. But now you're probably asking yourself, do I have to practice two years before I'm actually ready to record my demo? <laughs> yes! Oh no! No, 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 no! Do, 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 do. How'd you know I was coming into the bathroom? In all seriousness, I was watching the playback of that video and I seen all of this facial hair and I was like, yeah, that's gotta go. So it's coming off. I'm gonna explain my journey into how I went towards getting my demo made in hopes it can help you realize when it's time to make yours. For context, I started seriously pursuing voiceover in August of 2021. That's when I took my first class. From there, I would audition for a lot of indie projects, mainly from what I could find on Cast and Call Club. One thing you do want to avoid when just starting out is paying to get a demo made when you're just starting out. Why? Because you're constantly improving. And when you're starting out, you're going to improve at a much more substantial rate opposed to when you've already been doing this for a while. Therefore, if you record a demo too early, you'll outgrow it even faster. It'll essentially no longer represent your skill level because you already surpassed it. Now, unless you got money to pay to get demos made left and right, do as you please. And I mean, slide some dollars my way too, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Nonetheless, fast forward to April 2022, and I've been taking more classes and I've been auditioning a lot more frequently to try and improve my craft. By this point, I already have been contemplating getting a demo made, but, you know, imposter syndrome. I was asking myself the question, am I ready? I feel like that's gonna look lame once I edit that. Like, In all honesty though, I felt like I wasn't really exhausting my resources as much as I was supposed to by utilizing everything on Cast and Call Club, Discord, Twitter, and things of that nature. I felt like I wasn't working hard enough because my mindset was if I felt like I was working hard enough and I felt like I was at my peak, then I would record my demo. And of course, I wasn't feeling that way. Then fast forward to March of 2023 this year and I was going harder with voice acting than I ever had. Booking more roles than I ever had in the past and I felt like I was finally utilizing all my resources <laughs> basically everywhere I could find them at. What finally made me realize it's time was when I had seen so many auditions on Twitter that required a demo. And in my head, I'm thinking, if I had a demo, I know I would kill this audition. But that's what's holding me back. I lack that requirement. All in all, I felt like I was missing out on roles that I could have had if I had a demo. Casting rosters, I was missing out on those opportunities because they required a demo and I didn't have one. The point being, I felt ready because I knew there was opportunities that I would nail had I had a demo. And let me also clarify this. You do not need a demo to auditions for projects that state submit your demo. What I've come to eventually find out is if you message somebody who's holding the casting, asking them if you can still submit without a demo, oftentimes they'll let you do it. Now, ultimately this ain't gonna be the case with every audition you see that requires a demo, but it doesn't hurt to ask and it you still have a chance even if you don't have a demo, like that's my whole point. Regardless, I knew it was a long time coming. I felt as ready as I'll ever be. And so I did my research, found who I wanted to do my demo with and the rest is history. In the end, I guess it was still a matter of quote, only you will know when it's time for your demo. But like I looked at my situation and that's also what had helped me realize 
okay it's time also these are indie demos that we're talking about so i mean at most you'll probably end up coming out of pocket about 300 dollars max don't stress trying to figure out whether you're ready for a demo or not all in all you know just take everything i say with a grain of salt i'm by no means a professional voice actor this is just my experience and i'm still constantly learning day in and day out by pursuing this craft so if i get something wrong don't tear me down lift me up let's grow together not that y'all have ever done that before but you know hopefully with this demo i was at least able to help bring you closer to realizing if it's time to record your demo or not don't just ask yourself are you ready ask yourself are you missing out on certain projects because you lack certain requirements, such as a demo? Don't lie to yourself either. Is your recording space treated as best as it possibly can be? You can be a great actor, but if your audio sucks, no amount of engineering is gonna be able to fix that. I'm sorry. But other than that, that's gonna do it for this video. If y'all made it this far into it, I hope you enjoyed. Leave a comment. If you felt like you took something away from this, leave a comment for me if you feel like you got some advice to give for me. If I missed something, let me know. But other than that, I'll see y'all in the booth in the next one, voice actors. Peace out.